In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to send a message on Slack using the Slack incoming web URL feature. So this is going to allow you to basically create a webhook which you can use to send messages into your Slack with. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to go ahead and do is go on to the side and click on the add channels button. I want to click, click create a new channel and just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call this one alert. I'll put alert one. And then you just want to click next. You can make this public and then click create. So now it's going to ask you to add people to it. I'm just going to click skip for now, but you can eventually add people to it. Now you're going to want to go down to the bottom where it says apps and you want to click on the add apps section. From there, you need to go to the top right hand of the screen and you need to click on the app directory button. Then once you've done that at the top, you should see where it says build here. And that's going to allow you to create your own app. So from here, you want to go up to the top and you want to go to your apps. And you want to either go to manage your apps and then click create a new app. So I'm going to click this create a new app here. Now from there, I want to create the app from scratch. I'm just going to name the app. So I'm going to call this webhook one. And it's going to ask you where you want to develop your app. Just select your workspace. Now we're going to click on the create app button. From here, you can see it says incoming webhooks. I'm going to click on that there. And you want to turn this on. Once you've turned it on, you should see there's a button down here that says add new webhook to workspace. Click on that. So now it's going to just load for a second. It's going to ask for permissions. So where should webhook one post? It's basically asking where should it be able to post its stuff. So just select the channel we just created. So I've got alert one and we're going to click allow. Now from here, you should get a webhook URL and you can see this webhook URL here is generated for me. You want to go ahead and click copy on that. You can now go ahead and use this um, sample code here to basically send a webhook into here. And if you want to automate your webhooks, you can use a website called viasocket.com. So I'll just show you that now. And it's essentially just a um, like automation tool which allows you to basically put webhooks and stuff like that. So I'd recommend going to try that and it's completely free to use. So that's basically how you do it. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it did help you out so people can see the same video and get the same advice. Thank you.